This section teaches you to know and follow the rules of the road. Some are legal requirements and some are recommended best practice, but they are all designed to make the road safer. So once again, safety is a theme that dominates the questions. Many questions present everyday road situations where the correct answer is always the safest option. For example, you are traveling on a busy main road and find that you are traveling in the wrong direction. What should you do? A. Turn into a side road on the right and reverse into the main road. B. Make a U-turn in the main road. C. Make a three-point turn in the main road. D. Turn around in a side road. The correct answer, the safest option, is D. No question will require an answer such as speed up, sound your horn or flash your headlights. Topics include speed limits, knowing the different speed limits and when to use these speed limits, lighting, using car lighting effectively and safely to see and be seen when driving, lane discipline, knowing and understanding lane rule regulations, parking, where to safely park and knowing the different parking restrictions and regulations. Box junctions. Box junctions are designed to stop the junction becoming blocked by queuing traffic. It is illegal to enter the area of yellow crisscross lines marked on the road at a box junction unless your exit road is clear. The one exception to this rule is, you can enter a box junction when you want to turn right but are prevented from proceeding by oncoming traffic or right turning vehicles. You can identify a box junction by its yellow boxed crisscross lines. Parking. If you park at night on a road where the speed limit is above 30 miles an hour, you must leave your parking lights, your side lights, on. Always park facing the flow of traffic. Where not to park? On the pavement, at a bus stop, in front of someone's drive, opposite a traffic island, near a school entrance, near a junction, on a clearway, on a motorway, on a pedestrian crossing or inside the zigzag lines either side of it. Reversing. You must not reverse for longer than is necessary. Never reverse from a side road onto a main road. When reversing into a side road, the main hazard to oncoming traffic is when the front of your vehicle swings out. If you're not sure whether it is safe to reverse, you should get out and check before you start to reverse. If you can't see clearly behind you when reversing, ask someone to guide you. Example question. You are reversing your vehicle into a side road. When would the greatest hazard to passing traffic occur? A. After you've completed the manoeuvre. B. Just before you actually begin the manoeuvre. C. After you've entered the side road. D. After the front of your vehicle swings out. And the correct answer is D. When the front of your vehicle swings out. Roundabouts. Cyclists and horse riders may stay in the left-hand lane even if they are turning right. Going straight ahead. Signal left just after you pass the exit before the one you will take. Long vehicles may take up a different position to stop the rear of the vehicle hitting the curb. Going left. Signal left as you approach the roundabout. Keep signaling until you have left the roundabout. Going right. Signal right as you approach the roundabout. Signal left just after you pass the exit before the one you will take. Speed limits. You must not drive faster than the speed limit for the road you are on or your vehicle type. Where no other speed limit is shown, the national speed limit for cars and motorcycles is 60 miles an hour on a single carriageway road, 70 miles an hour on a dual carriageway or motorway. When these vehicles are towing a trailer or a caravan, the speed limit is lowered to 50 miles an hour on a single carriageway road, 60 miles an hour on a dual carriageway or motorway. Where there are street lights, a speed limit of 30 miles an hour applies unless road signs tell otherwise. On some roads, a minimum speed limit may apply, as indicated by a road sign. If so, you should drive above the speed limit shown on the sign unless it is not safe to do so. Key signs. No stopping. No waiting. End of minimum speed limit. National speed limit applies. Park in a bay and pay during the time shown. Markers that indicate a concealed level crossing. Other facts to know. At an unmarked crossroads, no one has priority. The nearest you can park to a junction is 10 meters, 32 feet. You may drive over a footpath to get to a property. You must not drive in a cycle lane marked by a solid white line during its period of operation. Do not drive in a bus lane during its hours of operation. The hours of operation will be marked on a sign. You must not stop where an urban clearway is in force.
Never park in a disabled only parking space unless permitted, i.e. you are a blue badge holder. A cycle lane marked by a broken white line means you should not drive in or park in the lane unless it is unavoidable. When waiting at a level crossing, if the red lights continue to flash after a train has passed, you must continue to wait.